Hello YouTube, it's Saturday night, June 4th, um, 8.18 p.m. 2022. Uh, yeah, I'm not at, I'm not working at Amazon tonight. I really thought I would be, and I was kind of wanting to, which I know is, you know, setting me up for basically not a single real day off, but at this point I'm... I don't know when I when I'm not working I'm when I'm not working I'm massively depressed and when I'm when I'm uh, when I'm when I'm at Amazon working I actually enjoy being there which I know sounds massively sad but at least at least when I'm there I'm actually around other people in in a context that I enjoy and uh, I uh, yeah I feel like I have some purpose when I'm there and and uh, as, as tight as my money is right now I just rather be rather be out more earning more but um, <coughs> due to what I consider a fluke or a, a, a uh, bug in the uh, Amazon A to Z app. Um, not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> but because of it, I'm not able to work at all uh, this, this overnight. Um, so from what I'm understanding, and nobody's really explained this to me, and I'm just kind of like looking at... Just kind of figuring it out by using it. Um, I've kind of come to the conclusion that talking to HR is borderline worthless because for the most part they just tell me to, you know, look at the app, but they don't know how the app works themselves. You know, let's just see if you can do that in the app. You can do that in the app. <laughs> Everything's done in the app. Why are they fucking paying you people to stand around? Why don't you go move some fucking boxes so you can wake up with sore hands too? Of course, on the bright side, I guess maybe a day of just not doing anything will make my hands a little less sore tomorrow. So there's that. Uh, oh, and yeah, just 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 for the record, my car is not broke down. I just I'm headed over to Target, and I figured, um, yeah, that's uh, that's walkable. So why the hell not walk? The sun's down. It's pretty nice outside. It's a little warm, but you know, June and June in Phoenix, what you want. <laughs> um, but but yeah, it's uh, anyway. I'm walking to walking to Target to grab some things and uh, thinking I might walk over to to uh, and if I get there early enough, yeah, I should have time. Uh, walk over to Taco Bell. Have a couple, have a couple burritos. Um, I know what an exciting Saturday night I have planned. Um, so, from what I'm understanding, the way the app, the app working is, it will only let you take one shift on a given day. And for Amazon, it's day starts and ends at midnight. Now, for me on the graveyard schedule at at uh, Amazon, my day ends at 5.30 a.m., occasionally 6.30 a.m. That, that happened, you know, for a couple of weeks back when I first started. Um, but yeah, as far as they're concerned, um, day starts and ends at midnight, which legally it does, and I understand the purpose of it. It's to stop people from working, you know, too many consecutive hours where they're not getting adequate sleep, and that certainly makes sense. I mean, especially in a warehouse, you need to be awake and alert. Um, but because I worked a, a shift of uh, midnight to 5.30 a.m., which is in my head yesterday, 
say, you know, because after that I went and had breakfast with a friend and then I uh, went home and went to sleep and I've slept, slept an exceptionally long time, more than I normally do. So I'm very well rested. Uh, sleep isn't the, the problem. And, and I, I did wake up at a more normal time, I want to say around 4.30, maybe 5 o'clock. Um, for more like 4.30. And I woke up another time earlier than that, probably about 2-ish, 3-ish. Um, and that was that was so-called girlfriend related. I, I'm, I might get to that, but I'm trying not to focus on that right now because it's exceptionally frustrating. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so when I woke up at around 5... After the, and by then the girlfriend had already left again to do whatever she does and go wherever she goes. Um, and, and just for the record, when I got, as, as I mentioned, when I went home to get dressed to go to work uh, last night, she wasn't there, but it was obviously obvious that she changed clothes because she left her dirty clothes that she'd been wearing for the last couple of days on the floor of the bathroom. And, and it's obvious that she had, obviously she had showered because there was, you know, foot plus of standing water in the bathtub. Dirty, really dirty water. So, gross. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, she was not home when I got home. No big shock there. I've kind of grown to expect that at this point. And I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I mean, there's part of me that kind of... <laughs> it's like, oh, I wish she was in bed waiting for me. Um... That, that actually happened a few days ago. I forget what day it was. Monday night, Tuesday night, I'm not sure. Whatever day it was, it was quite a shock and surprise, but you know, I guess I satisfied her libido and, it, and I, I think at her, now she's over 50, I think that's like, you know, she wants it like once, once every other month, whether she needs it or not, I guess, um, yeah. I, I still more or less have the libido that I had when I was in my 20s and 30s, so it's, it's a frustrating situation for me. Um, so, uh, oh gosh, I'm going to Target and I'm practically here. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm just dragging this out. It's pretty pretty clear cut. Um, so from be even though I woke up and I, I there were shifts available where I could have done the full, you know, like I did last week of uh, 7 p.m. to 5.30 a.m., my regular, you know, graveyard shift, but an extra day on it, of it, you know, Saturday, which I did yesterday and I did a couple weeks before that as well. Um, and I've kind of grown accustomed and I enjoy working that shift. Uh, yeah, um, that was available, but I couldn't take it. I also could have worked the front half of the shift to the back half of the shift if it would have let me. They, it shows those as available. Um, front half being uh, five, 7 p.m. to midnight, and the back half being midnight 30 to uh, 5.30 a.m. But all of them had the little no, you were, had the little no, you know, restricted symbol. Uh, or they were all noped out, with the reason being that I'd, that I, I forget how they worded it, but basically what it translated into is, is no, you've all, you're you're already working this day, or you've already worked this day, one or the other, and so basically, I can't do my full overnight tonight, or the first half of the shift tonight, because as far as the app is concerned, I've already worked today because I work from, uh, you know, some that would be over scheduling me because I work from. Uh, because I work from midnight to 5.30, or midnight 30 to, to 5.30 a.m., which, like, I do that every day. I work from midnight 30 to 5.30 a.m. and then come back at 7. So, obviously, the, the issue isn't well-rested. The issue is it not understanding that, that even though date-wise that shift occurred on a Saturday, uh, for some of the works graveyards, that needs to be kind of looked upon as a shift that occurs on Friday, because I mean, everybody that saw me is like, "Oh my God, you're here!" And I, there were, well, I wouldn't say everybody, but there were several people that remarked, "Holy shit, you're here on a Friday night!" 
you know, people that I work with on the regular. And honestly, I was kind of surprised to see them. I didn't expect to see them working on Friday night. But, but yeah, there were quite a few. It's like, hey, you're working on a Friday night? Cool. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of neat. This is the first time I've ever done a, done a half shift. And I had had plans for had plans for the night. They sort of fell through. So fuck it, I'm I'm in here working with you. <laughs> um, and most of the shift, I was uh, I was pallet guy. I love being a pallet guy. Um, but yeah, can't can't do that tonight because as far as the Amazon ADZ app is concerned, um, because that shift started on today's date. I can't do either the first half shift, the full shift, because it starts on today's date. And I can't do the half shift, even though, I, like, I normally work it overnight. Um, yeah, I can't do I can't do the half shift because it uh, it starts on Sunday, and I'm already scheduled on a shift that starts on Sunday, which is my normal uh, 7:30 to midnight I, I, part of me wants to talk to hr about it but i did talk to hr last night about a thing that's coming up uh, they haven't said when it's going to happen they've just said to be ready that it might happen and be aware of what your what they're calling your mandatory overnight overtime uh shift is and they've placed my mandatory over over my mandatory um mandatory extra shift or mandatory overtime shift they placed it on thursday night which obviously i can't work because of uh, because of um, my show at uh, because of my show at uh, Bullocks, and I tried to explain it to HR. I don't. I don't have time. I need to get over to Target right now because I'm just kind of wasting time here. But but yeah, it's uh, they were. Let's just suffice to say they were absolutely no fucking help at all. So I don't expect them to be any help with with this whole. Hey, you know, I'd kind of like to work. A half night on the Monday overnight, or the Friday overnight, a half night on the Saturday overnight, and then come in and do my shift on on Sunday. Like, why can't I do this? And and, and to be fair, they, there's probably nothing to do anyway because I would assume this is hard coded. I'm sure this is just a stupid algorithm thing because God knows most decisions at at Amazon are not made by humans; they're made by algorithms. Anyway, that's what's up. Thanks for coming with me on the walk and listening and. Uh, I'll figure out something to do to keep me occupied tonight, even if it's just go back to sleep.